Thank you so much. To see you here is personal witness that the dream is alive. The Hebrew prophet Isaiah said, come, let us reason together. I want to do a reasoning very quickly about some untruths that are damaging our nation. It is time for people of faith and goodwill to speak up, and it is time for some politicians in Washington to grow up. We have been told that if there is a fall off in care for the poorest and weakest among us, that the religious community will pick up what the government can't provide. That just shows that you can talk a lot about religion but not know anything about it. We're doing our job. We're doing all we can do to take care of people. We're feeling the pressure already of people needing food and money and housing. It is in the Constitution, as I read it, that the government is to provide for the public welfare. Quit pointing your finger at religion and do what the Constitution demands you to do. I talk a lot about trying to disentangle religion and government. This is a time when religion and government ought to be moving on the same path and acting as best friends. In every tradition that I know, compassion and justice are basic values. Those are also the basic values of democracy. Let us join hands and say to the leaders of our government, from the faith and goodwill community and from the government community, let us provide faith and justice and compassion for people in our country. I want you to know that while you have been here, some of us have been in the Capitol Rotunda. What? In the Capitol Rotunda. We are people who think prayer is important not because it is a public display good for a campaign trail, but because it is a strengthener for people trying to act with compassion. Ten of my colleagues representing a variety of different religious traditions bowed in the rotunda of the Capitol. By now, they are probably in paddy wagons being carried to jail because we have come to the point of saying, if you won't listen to anyone else, will you please listen to the wisdom of the ages? What happened to all the religion among all the candidates campaigning on it? Where did it go? Religion is not a theory. It's what you do with your life. This nation has a dream in the Constitution reiterated by the great Dr. Martin Luther King, a dream of which we are stewards. And to fulfill that dream today means to saying to people in power, Quit your unpatriotic politics and get on with compassionate acts of goodness and generosity. Thank you for being